My good friend Jack Nicholas once said, if you have the proper grip and the proper setup, you can be taught. First thing that goes on the golf club is the left hand. My dad at age six put my hands on the golf club and the first thing he said, he said, son, turn that hand over so you see two knuckles in your left hand, point the V that's formed between your thumb and forefinger right here toward your right shoulder, just like this. The left thumb goes down the right center of the shaft. And my great friend and teacher, Stan Thirsk, does this with his new pupils. He takes the glove and he puts these two lines on the glove right here and also the OB, which stands for out of bounds, which means that you want to place the club in your left hand right between those two lines right there and not where the OB is. The problem with people who have a grip where the club lays like this in the hand is that they can't grip onto the club tightly enough so they over grip the golf club like this causing too much tension in their arms and hands when they swing the golf club. With the club in this position right here, the left thumb goes down the top right of the shaft, the center right of the shaft. The right hand fits right over the top of the thumb right here. The pad of the thumb fits right over the thumb like this and it goes into the two fingers right here of the right hand. Look at the right thumb. The right thumb doesn't go down the top or over here, it goes over to the left side of the V, as my dad said, should also be pointing to the right shoulder, but I do a little bit different. I put it just toward my chin or just, in, just to the right of my chin this way. So basically your left thumb is on the right side of the shaft and your right thumb is on the left side of the shaft. Now the last thing I do with the grip, I want to teach people is to split the forefinger from the middle finger a little bit on the right hand. That allows you to cradle the golf club a little bit easier without gripping on too tightly. In Hogan's Five Fundamentals of Golf, he talks about the last three fingers of the left hand and the middle two fingers of the right hand. Those are the pressure points in your grip. I stress the same thing. The way I like to teach grip pressure is this. Simply take the club Put the club straight up in the air where it's, the, it's lightest and then let the club drop through your hands like this. Then put the club back in your hands, proper grip, then reduce your grip pressure until just before it drops and then take the club and just take it to horizontal like this. You will feel an increase of grip pressure in your last three fingers of your left hand and the middle two fingers of the right hand just by doing that. That's as much grip pressure as you need holding on to the golf club. Now let's talk about the, the three types of grips that you normally see. The one grip that I started with was the, was the overlapping grip. This is the grip that is called the Varden grip with the little finger overlapping the forefinger and the middle finger of, of the left hand. The grip that Tiger Woods uses and as, as well as Jack Nicklaus is the interlocking grip where you interlock those two fingers. And the last grip that you see a lot and it's taught for mainly women because their hands are smaller and it allows for more power is the full finger grip this way. Put all four fingers on the golf club. Now, some of the common mistakes people make with their grips are these. Is that many people put the left thumb down the top of the shaft, straight down the top, and the right thumb down the top of the shaft like this. The problem with this is that it decreases the amount of hand speed you have in the, in the golf swing. Watch what happens when I take this club back with an improper grip. I go back halfway like this and the club just sticks up in the air like this. You can't break the wrist. Now if I have it on there properly, with the left hand over, two knuckles, the right hand over like this, watch how much more wrist break you have in the back swing. Look how easy it goes up there and sets like this. The proper grip allows you to do that. Now, if you have the two thumbs down the, the top of the shaft like this, it also causes a slice. When you push the club out like this, look what happens to the club face. The club face opens up. Conversely, if you have the left hand on the golf club too strong in this position where you see too many knuckles, this is the power position. A lot of people come in there and they'll get the nice power position like that. What happens at impact is the club face 
closes. So the proper grip goes on like this. Left hand on the club, see two knuckles, left thumb down the right center of the shaft, and the V pointing to your right shoulder. The right hand goes on with the pad of the right thumb over the left thumb, the right thumb to the left of the shaft, the V just to the right of my chin. One last thing. I like to put just a little bit of a gap between the forefinger and the middle finger right here to cradle the golf club. Now that is the proper grip like that, and let's see how it works. And that, my friends, is a lesson on the grip.